Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have an important tutorial for those of you who are running a dual boot setup with Linux and Windows. We'll be showing you step by step how to resize your Linux partition, so you can allocate more space or make adjustments without affecting your Windows installation. Let's dive right in. As you can see my root partition has run out of space, need to expand it. Let me boot into my Windows first. Let me check the partitions using the Windows Disk Management tool. As you can see they are two partitions for Linux. One partition is for the home directory and the other is for the root. They are both about 40 GB plus. The other partitions are for Windows and one is just for backup files. Windows does not tell you whether the partition is for Linux or not so how can you tell? Well open a command prompt and use the dispart tool. I only have one disk that is disk 0 and the partitions I want to check are partition 5 and 6. I have made a mistake it is supposed to be disk 0 since I only have one disk. 5 is for the partition. Next select the partition number that you want to check. Now type in the following command to check the details of the partition. If you see that specific line with numbers and letters on type then it is a Linux partition. This is how you can tell if a partition is Linux or not in Windows. This is helpful if you have a number of partitions. Let me check the other partition as well. It is also a Linux partition you can tell from the type. We are going to use gparted to resize the Linux partition since the Windows Disk Management tool can't handle the Linux file format. First let us download gparted. gparted is a free and open source graphical partition manager used for disk management and creating, deleting, resizing, moving, checking, and copying partitions or file systems. It is a powerful tool commonly used in Linux systems for managing disk partitions. The gparted ISO image has been downloaded you can create a bootable disk using a tool like Rufus. In the device select your USB stick then select the ISO image you just downloaded. For the partition scheme, we opt for either GPT or BIOS, depending on the level of modernity of our computer. If the computer is equipped with a UEFI BIOS, GPT is the recommended choice. However, if there are any boot-related issues, simply recreate the USB stick with different parameters. The USB stick is now created let us now boot from the USB stick. You need to change the boot order so you can boot from the USB stick. On some computers like HP computers you just have to press F9 and you will be presented with a boot menu where you can select where to boot from. 
Otherwise just change the boot order from the BIOS. Just Google the keys you need to press to access the BIOS for your computer model. When you boot from the USB stick you will be presented with this screen just press enter. On the language settings just press enter for English as it is the default. Just press enter again to enter the graphical user interface. I want to increase the size of partition 5 which is my root partition. Partition 4 is just a data partition and there is no data in it so we'll just delete it and allocate the space to partition 5. Right click on the Linux partition and choose Resize Stroke Move. A new window will pop up, allowing you to adjust the size. Move the slider to the left where there is the unallocated space. Then extend the slider so it fills up the whole space you will notice the size of the partition will increase. Always to back up your important data. Resizing partitions involves potential risks, so it's crucial to have a backup in case anything goes wrong. The size of partition 5 has increased to 96 gigabytes, but I want to increase it to more than 200 gigabytes, so I will take some space from partition 3, which is the Windows partition. Let me resize partition 5 again and get the free space from the Windows partition. As you can see the partition has now increased to more than 200 gigabytes. Nothing has been applied yet click on apply for the changes to take effect. This process may take some time, depending on how many changes you have made and how big your drives are so be patient. Now that we've resized the partition, let's move on. Reboot the machine. Before you do that remove the live USB, restart the computer, and boot into your Linux installation. If you are able to see the grub menu then great everything is fine. First, we should check if Windows boots and also Linux. If you can't see the grub menu and only Windows boots up there is a video in the description on how to fix this. And there you have it. You've successfully resized your Linux partition in a dual boot setup with Windows. Remember, always back up your data and proceed with caution when working with partitions. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.